I'll just check this. Your, your mic is live, Mikhail. You're talking straight. Yeah, okay. I'm, and I'm going to basically line things up as we go. Right, evening, everybody. Um, if I can ask you to put your hand up through the Zoom system, which hopefully you will understand, then I'll come to as many of you as we can before we have to run for the bus. So I'm going to come to Ben Ransom. Hi, Mikhail. Um, I just wondered, um, I heard obviously your comments before the match, I've not heard you speak afterwards about uh, Meza Ozil not being involved. Uh, you suggested you'd explain the reasons for that. Um, could you give us a bit of an insight into why? No, it was a tactical reason. Not to be involved in the, in the entire squad, I suppose, was perhaps the, the biggest surprise. That's all. Hello. Sorry, can you did it drop out there? Sorry, Mikhail. Um, I was going to say not to be involved in the, in the entire squad was the, probably the biggest surprise. Um, can you explain the reasons tactically then why that was the case? Because I need players in other positions as well, and that's why I decided to leave them out. Thanks, Ben. We'll come to um, Simon Stone from the BBC. Hi. Mikel. Um, David Luiz uh, had a difficult night. I just wondered what you've said to him. And also, because he's been sent off, he's now suspended for two games, I think. Um, that gets him very, very near to the 30th of June. What, what is happening with his contract, even for the short term? I don't know what would happen with his contract. Um, I know what happened today. I know the way David reacted. Because I know him well, not as a player, but as a person as well. He can handle the situations. And there was a reason why I didn't select him from the start. And uh, he had to play because Pablo got injured. He always going to try to give you his best, whether the condition that he's at. And he's tried again. It didn't work out for him or for the team. But uh, that's it. Thank you. Uh, I come now to Simon Peach. Simon. Hi there. Um, hi, hi, Mikel. Um, I was just wondering how Pablo is and how Granite is. Obviously, there was a lot of concern about Eric Garcia at the end, but there were two injuries for your side as well. Yeah, they are getting assessed at the moment and uh, we will know probably something more uh, tomorrow morning. But um, Pablo's one, it didn't look really good to be fair. I'm going to come now to Rob Harris. Rob. Hi, Mikel. Um, how difficult was the atmosphere and actually the whole experience, uh, you know, given how sur surreal it was? And, you know, will that take some getting used to? And, and also particularly on the um, taking a knee before kickoff, just what sort of a message do you think that, that is sending out? We just heard Pep Guardiola saying, you know, there's a need almost to, to apologise to black people for the injustices going back centuries. Yeah, all the surrounding about, um, about the game is completely different to what we are used to it, but um, we have to adapt. At least we are playing football again, which is what we love to do and hopefully helping people with, with that. And today's game, they had a lot of conditions. One of them, what we did uh, just before the game, but I think it's a very strong message. I think it's creating a very unique message around the world, what we are trying to achieve. I think um, some behaviours are going to change, hopefully, with all the things that are happening and uh, we can contribute a little bit to that. Great. Okay, folks, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.